God is holy, pure, transcendent, morally perfect. So how then can we also call a weak holy? Well, there's another definition of holiness being set apart for God's purposes. That definition obviously doesn't apply to God himself, but it absolutely can apply to objects, spaces, and time, and does throughout the Old Testament. The week Jesus offered himself as a sacrifice to atone for our sin according to God's plan and purposes was the epitome of holy. I contend that when we choose to take time to reflect on that plan, to worship, and to draw near to God, our week also becomes holy. And there's a bonus. The Bible says when we draw near to God, he draws near to us and imparts his holiness to us. Let's put the holy back in holy week.